that you guys have questions about stuff and how dubbing anime is evil and all that kind of yeah. thing. I wasn't even there. Yeah. Is there much of the time schedules? How about how long does it take to script, say, a 13 episode uh, series? Oh. I, thankfully, I don't ever have to usually do 13 episodes at a time. Generally, and, and uh, this, I will say, is different for, for every company because they have you know, different ways that they schedule it. I've been very fortunate that most of the shows that I've worked on, I've been the only script writer. So I do work on the whole series. Generally, the way it's recorded, at pretty much every studio would, would uh, record stuff like this is like when you buy a volume of anime and there's four episodes or five episodes on there, that's usually how we record it, is like that one kind of block of episodes at a time. So usually what I'm working on is like four to five episodes at a time. What a lot of studios do is they may have many writers that are working on that one series, so somebody may be only working on one script at a time. Um, it, it does vary how long it takes for me to do a script, you know, based on how much they're talking. God, they talk a lot in The Wallflower, I can tell you that. And there's a whole lot of this. <gasps> oh, ah, oh, oh. A, and the nose bleeding fully is in um, Yeah, there's a whole lot of people making sounds in that show. Uh, sometimes, if I'm really focused and I don't run into a whole lot of weird cultural stuff, I could probably do an episode in about eight to ten hours. But, you know, and that, that's keeping in mind that there's probably about 21 minutes of dialogue in the episode. So an episode's about 24 minutes. You take out probably around three minutes for opening and closing songs, so you got about 21 minutes of, of show. Um, a good one will be eight to ten hours, and then sometimes, like the ones I'm working on right now, I'm finding it's oh, more than that, like like fourteen <laughs> hours or something per episode. They they can be really hard, and uh, the thing is, sometimes you'll hit a roadblock with some of these that oh, you're going along and everything is so nice, and then there's some bizarre thing thrown in there. I just I got lucky with the thing with the song. That, that was very lucky because I had just had in the episode previous to that this thing where the characters each say, has any of you guys seen The Wallflower? There's a, a recurring thing that happens about three or four times per episode where there's this gong that gets struck and then they segue into this little other thing called the road to womanhood. Um, anyway, so, for some reason, in this one episode, you hear that gong, but instead of going into the little Road to Womanhood segment, it's like it's this gong that all of the characters can hear, and it's waking them up in the morning, and what they say is something like, Earthquake, Thunder, Fire, Father. That's the English translation. Well, in Japanese, it's a very common nursery school rhyme. And if they just say, earthquake, fire, thunder, father, that doesn't mean anything to any of us. It means nothing. But the people who are watching it originally, it's a cultural experience for them, and every person understands what they said. This is as familiar to them as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. They all know it. And I, I ended up, I had to, in a way, give up on that because there wasn't anything that I could come up with that was, we don't have an equivalent of that. And besides, I have to tell you that Earthquake, Thunder, Fire, Father didn't get the lip flaps. So, um, and also, then further, the point of it was that Sanako messes up the rhyme because it's supposed to be like a word for father that rhymes with the things that they just said. But... It, so if it was like Biddy Diddy Daddy Patty or whatever, then she would have said like Biddy Diddy Patty Father. You know, like she messed up the rhyme. So it was like this, this common frame of reference with this nursery rhyme 
But then the joke is that Sinako screwed the thing up. She's so stupid that she doesn't even know this children's nursery rhyme. And just tell me, I mean, anybody who has some suggestions for that, just raise your hand. I mean, come on. Uh, so we ended up doing something that, that rhymed and, and, and it was about, and the reason that it was about her father is because her father is there, and he's big, and he's noisy. Anyway, that one, I worked on that for hours, and it, it, it lasts for like five seconds <laughs> in the show. So that's the thing. It's like you can be going along, like, oh, I'm so awesome, and I'm getting all these lines, and I'm really good, and oh, what the hell is this? So, and then, <laughs> yeah, and then it's just a brick wall, and I can't just gloss over it. I have to to do something. I have to come up with something brilliant that will, so then I just start using my thesaurus and coming up with something that will possibly work that, you know, there's, in some cases, there just isn't really an English equivalent of what you can do with it, unfortunately. So, yeah. Just as a follow-up on that, when you do find something like that where you just don't really have anything to do with it. Do you uh -huh. go with a literal at that point? No, because it doesn't, then it would make it, even less sense. Yeah, then you've totally lost it. What I actually did is um, we just ended up making a, a rhyme out of it. So earthquake actually fit. And the thing is that there's this loud noise that's jarred him awake. And uh, so it went something like um, earthquake for goodness sake, jailbreak. Dad's awake? So it, it rhymed. You know, that was the best I could do. I mean, it was supposed to rhyme, and I thought about trying to make Sonako say something that didn't rhyme, and since it was already was not going to be some, a rhyme that people knew. Come up with something that yeah, still rhymes. I, yeah, I, you know, I actually tried, I was going to try, you know that song, Knock on Wood? It's like, Thunder, lightning, the way you love me, it's frightening. I was trying to think of something like that that was gonna fit, and it I just couldn't get it. It just it just didn't fit. It didn't fit the lip flaps. It didn't it didn't fit. So it was it was really tricky. But you know, if you have to, there's no way to reasonably put a paragraph of text on the screen to explain. Well, in Japanese, what they said, because it goes by like that, it's literally earthquake, for goodness sake, jailbreak, dad's awake. That is how fast it is. And for the amount of text that you would have to put on the screen to explain what on earth just happened, you've just lost the whole thread of the show. You know, it's just, it is really, really tricky sometimes. Thankfully, that's not in every episode. Thankfully, it's not. Usually there's some really fantastic substitute that I can come up with uh, that will work handily, and it's just not not in every case. You cannot win them all, and I'm I'm quite sure that uh, you know other cultures have similar problems when they're you know anytime you're adapting something from one culture into another culture in another language, I'm sure you're always going to have that kind of a problem, especially when it's not just, I mean, it, it would be different if you're adapting a novel or something. Well, then you can just take as many words as you need. But when this is, you know, like I say, you have also the problem of matching the little mouth flaps. You're really kind of stuck with what you can do. 